Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and this is to answer a question, more questions about passkeys, how they work. So, of course, a lot of people have uh, the question of, yeah, okay, you have a passkey that is associated with your PC, for example, for an account. But what about if I want to have access to that account on another PC or another uh, device like a phone or a tablet? How does that work? Well, when you actually have your pass keys stored on your PC, the way that you can share these accounts with other devices is that you will have to have access to your main device that you had your first pass key. And there are several things that can happen. One, it might simply ask you if you, for example, take your phone and try to access that account, it's going to say, oh, um, you know, refer to your PC that you have your passkey. And on that PC, it might actually simply say, oh, can you just authenticate with your, you know, face ID, pin or fingerprint, uh, the way that you were doing it. And it knows that you actually are, of course, on that device, that it's a device that is recognized. Because of that, it will also say, well, that means that the phone that you're using must be your device since you are actually following the instructions. And it will assign a passkey to that phone, which by then will be uh, able to authenticate to that account on its own uh, with, of course, finger fingerprint, face ID, or uh, or PIN or whatever you're using to log into your phone. Uh, it could ask you also on a device that has a camera, like a phone or a tablet, to scan a QR code that appears on that main PC that you have your passkey stored. And it will have a QR code. You just go on you know, and scan that QR code with your phone, and then it would add that account with a passkey to your phone thanks to that. Um, the idea behind passkey authentication on other devices is always to have access to your main device if possible. Now, if a passkey is not the last resort, most of the time, if there's really no access, say you're trying to log into a, your account on a friend PC, you're not even in the same city, you, you can't have access to your own computer, and you really want to, um, most of the time when you have a passkey connection, it will also have below it, uh, find a different way to authenticate, to prove that it's me. And that will mean it might actually say, well, okay, do you have two-factor authentication? I can send you a code to a device that you've registered, like a phone. And you will be able to still log in without a passkey. When you do that, it will actually ask you if you want to create a passkey for that new device. So you got to be careful. If it's not your device, you don't necessarily want to have a passkey. You can ignore that and say, no, not no passkey here. Uh, but there's often a way to um, authenticate in other um, ways, uh, like two-factor authentication, for example. If it's on, you might have, okay, well, I'll send you a code this time around because uh, you say that you don't, you can't, you don't have access to it or the main PC with your passkey. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.